thoughts on turmeric, turmeric for inflammation, other menopausal symptoms not required, my dear, doesn't do any of that, that sort of stuff. Well, by affecting certain pathways, it sort of creates a sort of hormetic sort of effect, sort of has more of a hermetic effect than anything else. Um, yes, it does actually affect some of the inflammatory pathways, but it's so minor. If you're doing a whole lot of wrong things, it's not going to help much at all. And it also basically, as long as you get rid of all the inflammatory stuff that you're putting in your mouth, um, you're not going to require any of that sort of stuff. And it is a chelator of minerals as well. So, <laughs> you know, if you use turmeric, you know, excessively, a bit, it's not going to, you know, for flavouring, it's not going to be a major issue. <clears throat> but if you do, like, excessively, it is an iron chelator and can cause subclinical levels of anemia in some people, depending on the dose and all that. So, no, you don't want those chelating agents in your body. But a bit for flavour, I have used it even myself for a bit of flavour. That's one thing. But excessive amounts like some people use, nope. <laughs>